ladies and mercy gentlemen today we're going to talk about classic wow and more specifically this is going to be a guide on how to obtain different racial mounts in classic wow now racial mounts are obviously things like the mechano strider for the gnomes or the horses for the humans or the wolves for the orcs and things like that but there is a way to obtain different mounts for different races. Normally, if you go up to a mount vendor which isn't your racial mount vendor, it won't give you the option to buy the mounts or get the training. Now, the trick to this is getting exalted with the city reps. Now, how do you do that? Now, let's go through the basics. So first and foremost, when you start your character, if you start a new character, if you start an alt, you need to decide what mount you want to go for because there is a good reason for this. So for example, if you're a gnome and you want to ride a knight saber at level 40 or level 60 and get that tiger riding skill and the mount, you will need to go to their starting zone. You will need to go to the night elf starting zone. And that works for obviously any other race. So if you're an orc and you want to get a Kodo, you'll have to go to the Tauren starting zone from the very beginning. And it is a very long run, but there's a reason for doing it at level 1. This is because you can actually do this at any level, but once the quest is grey, the reputation gained decreases all the way down to 10% of the original value. Now in the starting levels, most of these quests will give 50 rep each, but some of them can give 75 and even 100 occasionally. And if you do them at a higher level, say for example at like level 20 or level 60, the 50 rep quests will only give 5 reputation per quest, which is not a lot and it takes a hell of a long time. It is still doable though, so keep watching, there is other ways of gaining rep, it's not just this, but this is kind of the, the life hack from the start. Run to that starting zone, do all of their quests, and you get a very good head start on the reputation for the mount that you require. Once you've done their starting zone, next up, what you want to do is go to the Wowhead link in the description. Now this is really cool, and, and shout out for Wowhead for this because it's really, really handy. Basically, what this link is, is essentially just a list of quests which give reputation for a specific reputation that you can choose from the drop-down list. Now you can choose any rep that you like, obviously choose the one that you're going after, and you can actually sort this by required level or the amount of reputation you gained. So say for example you're leveling up, you can kind of look at different zones and say, okay, for Iron Forge rep, it's probably best to go to places like Loch Modern because there's a lot of dwarves there and it'll give me a lot of Ironforge rep, things like that. And yeah, if you just kind of want to take it really slow and just do all of the quests for that specific reputation while leveling up, you can sort it by required level and just kind of go through that. It is a bit of a mission, but... However, there is a few quests here that aren't already in the game, so something like Lord of Blackrock is a quest for Blabbing Lair. Uh, that's not in the game yet, but it's pretty easy to spot those ones, and for the most part, they're gonna be level 60 quests, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. And you can kind of tell, like, there's ones for, like, Ultrak Valley, which obviously isn't coming in until Phase 3, and little bits and pieces like that. But for the most part, you can kind of search the results, you can filter results, it's very, very good and a really great resource for finding uh, random little quests which give you quite a decent amount of reputation while leveling up or at level 60. Okay, so when that's all done, you have probably the worst part of it all and you guys might already know this, but this is a part of Classic WoW and yeah, this is the other way to gain rep. And if you don't want to do any of the questing, this is also an alternative from the very start that you can do, but it sucks, okay? So basically there is a NPC in every single city in World of Warcraft which represents the factions. There's one for Ironforge, there's one for Ogrima, there's one for the Darkspear Trolls, there's one for Thunderbluff, etc. in Thunderbluff. And they all have different locations around the world. Now, they will provide you a couple of quests, and these are called a donation of. Now, they have a donation of wool, they have a donation of silk, they have a donation of mage weave, and a donation of runecloth. These do unlock as you level up. Uh, the wool one unlocks at level 12, silk at 26, mage weave at level 40, and runecloth at level 50. So once you've actually done that, so this requires 60 of each. So a donation of wool, for example, is 60 wool, and that will give you 150 reputation, and that quest goes away. Once that's done, 150 rep, 60 wool, done. Then you have silk, 60 silk, 150 rep, done. Then mage weave, 60 mage weave, 150 rep, done. Then rune cloth, and then once you've done all of the different cloths, 
you'll have a quest called More Runecloth Donation, which is 20 Runecloth stacks, and that is repeatable, and that will give 50 reputation a time. So this is essentially where it's going to kind of really slow down, and you've, you've got to get 20 stacks of Runecloth each time, keep handing them in, keep handing them in 50 reputation at a time, which is why the quests are so handy to do beforehand, because because you're going to need a lot of Runecloth. In fact, if you want to know the specific numbers, of 20 stacks of runecloth, if you start at neutral, you're going to need 840 stacks. If you start at friendly, it's 780. If you start at honored, it's 660. And if you start at revered, it's 420 stacks of runecloth, which is a lot. And yeah, that is actually pretty much it. There isn't really any super secret trick to getting reputation. It's just really getting the reputation before you get to that point where you're handing in cloth because it is very it's rough you know handing in 20 stacks of rune cloth at a time it's not a fun time especially for only 50 reputation which is something you could have got at level one when doing one quest in the starting zone so it's pretty insane how it kind of works out that way but so that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed i hope you learned something hopefully today uh i definitely want the night saber mount on my gnome and funnily enough as a little tidbit because of the way that riding works in classic wow if, if you want the winter spring frost saber as a non night elf alliance player you will also need to be exalted with darnassus because you're going to need tiger riding so there's some bad news for your day Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate it. Do let me know below if you know any other secrets on getting reputation with cities. That'll be really, really handy. But for the most part, I'm pretty sure I've covered most of the bases. But if you know anything else, do let me know in the comment section below. So before I go, I'd like to give a massive shout out to my amazing patrons, YouTube channel members, and Twitch subs. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to support the channel in any of those ways, links are down below. So leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe if you haven't also got a part of the Discord channel with over 3,000 members. And I'm now streaming on twitch.tv slash MrGM. If you do want to check me out on stream, streaming every single day, leveling up on Classic WoW, having a really good time. Uh, yeah, so twitch.tv slash MrGM. And with that, guys, I'll see you next time.